guys it's Ashley welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today by the video you can tell that we're gonna be doing a travel style video I love 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 doing these videos and thank you again for always DMing me and helping me make these videos for you guys so this video is gonna be a lot longer than what you're used to because um, I just have a lot more tips and facts to give out um, I went to Las Vegas twice last year I absolutely love Las Vegas and because I know that graduation is coming up for fall semester um, and spring break will be literally in like two or three months after that I just thought this video would be really cool because I'll end up going to Las Vegas um, during my spring break um, during one of my trips during spring break and it was really fun so I thought this would be very beneficial for you guys so we can just get started so number one is that las vegas is big when i saw las vegas is big i mean like the strip itself is four miles long and then that's not including downtown and chinatown and stuff like that so when you're going to las vegas just keep in mind that you're gonna you will probably be on the strip that's where most of the hotels are or like most most of the popular hotels are so you're going to be on the strip but don't forget about downtown and chinatown because that's where it's popping too so you want to visit there if you can um second thing is because las vegas is big there are a lot of shortcuts i know that my hotel was connected to a restaurant which was connected to planet hollywood so instead of having to go out because it was like 108 degrees when i went in the summertime i could just stay in my hotel go down to the first floor go through that hotel or that mall and then go to planet hollywood which is so so much better than me stepping outside in 108 degree weather um I keep looking right here because you guys know my laptop is always open. I just type up these notes and then give them to you guys. So yeah. Um, also because Las Vegas is big, if you're not staying on the strip or if you're staying on very opposite ends of the strip, taxis and Ubers do cost more. So if you're not going with a group, just keep that in mind. But if you can split the cost with even one person, it's better than just you know splitting it by yourself. Number three, Las Vegas actually does have cheap hotels, but they are on farther ends of the strip. So, and they're more like motel, motel style to me at least. Um, they're like thirty dollars, thirty to forty dollars a night. I really won't recommend staying in them. I've, I feel like if you're going to Las Vegas, just live it up. Like, why not? You know. Um, number four most hotels actually do let non-residents or non-guests go to their pool or go to their parties so i know that most hotels unlike back home you can't go to a hotel pool if you're not staying at that hotel but in las vegas you can actually do that they, you just have to check during certain hours so i was staying in one hotel and i actually went to caesar's the caesar's palace pool so that was pretty cool but you just want to check and make sure what hours you can go and if they aren't doing like any parties or um special events that day day parties and events are so common in las vegas just check your times number five if you are into clubbing or partying then clubbing is pretty fun in las vegas guys i'm not a big clubber i've never been to a club at home but when i'm out of town i like to go just experience new things um so club promoters are literally up and down the strip if you do go to a club i would recommend doing a group club deal you know what i'm talking about when if you go but the promoter is basically going to ask you for if you want to do a group club a group club deal and that's basically like the first 50 to 100 people that that promoter can get and they get um in front they get to skip the line so that's a pretty big deal especially with there being thousands and thousands of people in las vegas and about a hundred maybe a hundred club rooms i'm not sure how many club rooms there are in las vegas but to get be the first 50 to 100 people to skip the line that's pretty dope so i would recommend that and then i would also say um club hop like the club the club the group club deal you're gonna they're gonna let you club hop anyway they but you have to leave as a group so it's kind of sucky if you're having a good time so what we did was we stayed the, like the first three or first two clubs and then we kind of branched off with our own and did our own thing but club hop because it's really really fun there are literally so many clubs in las vegas there's just so many number six some hotels do charge resort fees so like they charge you to use the pool and stuff like that so just use the pool if you're going to be charged for something like that go to your pool and go to somebody else's pool you're already getting charged anyway so you might as well just enjoy it you know what i'm saying number seven do not gamble if you do not know how to gamble there are real people who take this stuff seriously you do not want to waste anyone's time or your own time or money and plus because las vegas is known for gambling they're going to offer you free classes all you have to do is ask when is the class and they literally give you the time and place so you don't have to waste your time or your money and anyone else's time or money just take the free class if you really want to gamble 
Um, number eight, go to a show. Las Vegas is known for its shows, the burlesque shows, the musicals, the magic shows. Um, most of the shows are like, some really good shows are in valleys. They have a lot of good magic shows. I would recommend there. Um, you could buy tickets at like the box offices or I heard you can go to Vegas.com. I've never used Vegas.com. I just end up buying mine in like the mall that was connected to my hotel, like one of the little stands. Um, but yeah, go to see a show. If you don't go to see a show in Vegas, in Vegas, you've wasted your trip. Also go to the Bellagio Water Show. Every place has that one thing is known for. New York has Times Square, Chicago has the Bean, Las Vegas has the Bellagio Water Show. If you do not go see the Bellagio Water Show, did you really go to Las Vegas? Mm, no, you didn't. Um, mm, mm. The Bellagio Sh Water Show is also free. And I know y'all like free stuff, so go see it. Um, number nine, talk to locals. I'm unfortunately not a very talkative person, but I did fortunately end up going with someone who's very talkative. So she got really close to like our hotel concierge and stuff like that. Those people work and live in Las Vegas. So they know the deals. They gonna, they're gonna point you to better deals than the club promoters will, than the hosts will. Like they will point you in the right direction. So get really friendly with them. Tell them good morning, good night. You know, get to know them a little bit number 10 know when to visit guys 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 this is literally crucial for your enjoyment in las vegas remember that las vegas is in the west coast and it is a desert it is hot dry there's no humidity in the air there's no moisture in there it is a hot desert so you can literally see the grand canyon if you stay in the right hotel it is a desert so for me, I ended up, my first trip, I ended up going in the summertime and it was dreadful. It, would, it reached about 113 degrees outside. I literally had to leave my um, hotel at like 7, 8 a.m., go get breakfast and lunch, come back to my hotel and I would sleep and watch TV until 6 p.m. until the sun went down because it was just unbearable heat, guys. Also because Las Vegas is known for a lot of things, they are also known for science conventions, computer conventions. They are known for a lot of conventions, so you want to make sure you're going when there isn't a convention going on because you think Las Vegas is crowded, try going when there is a convention. You will literally not be able to walk because there will be so many people. Also the prices on everything is hiked up when there is a convention in town. Hotels cost three times as much. Ubers and taxis cost three times as much. Everything just costs more. It even costs to breathe because it's just a convention in town. So do not go when there is a convention in town. Number 11, research food places because most of the food places on the strip are more expensive. Downtown does have the really um, inexpensive food options, but if you don't want to go downtown, then you can just, you know, stay on the strip. And like I said, research it because in my hotel, there was a there were food places underneath and they were really inexpensive and really good. I remember it was one hotel, one restaurant, and you can just look it up. I think it's called Ocean's 8. If I'm wrong, I'll leave it in the description box, but I always recommend people going to Ocean 8. Um, they also have a Nobu and an Egg Slut, which you really can't find everywhere so that's pretty fun um number 12 is that you can literally drink everywhere in las vegas so unlike back home where you can't drink before 12 on certain days on the streets so you can get like arrested or something or fined in las vegas you can drink anytime you want anywhere you want the only thing you can't do is drink it out of this original container so you just have to pour it in like a cup or one of those um tall little plastic cups but yeah, you can pretty much drink anywhere. Number 13, unfortunately, is that you can actually pretty much smoke everywhere. The casinos are literally like a big hot box, smoke box. Like it's awful. I was, you can't go in there. You can't see, you can't breathe. It's awful. I'll leave you can go into the casino. Um, number 13 is that the ATM surcharges are hella expensive. So make sure you bring cash, bring cash, bring enough cash. You're gonna be spending money anyway. Make sure you bring, it, bring too much cash, okay? So you don't have to risk going to the ATM because I didn't bring enough cash. I had to go to the ATM and there were so surcharges felt like I was paying another bill. I lied to you not. It just, it was ridiculous. So bring enough cash. Um, number 15 is experience everything if you can. Las Vegas is not just the strip, it's also, you know, downtown and Chinatown. So you want to try to get your money's worth. Don't just drink and smoke and party all day. Remember that there are actually monumental places in Las Vegas. You can visit Chinatown, you can visit the Golden Nugget. I think it's a, um, I think you can also, um, what is it called? Fremont Street. 
these places that are in lots and lots of movies that most movies are shot at you want to visit those places just to say you experienced everything and remember to visit uh visit the bellagio water show you want to experience these things while you're in las vegas because if you don't did you really go to las vegas mm, no but yeah thank you guys for dming me about this video um if you guys want video tips or anything else remember to dm me at the social media links below if there's anything else you want to know um but yeah until then i will see you guys in my next video